Uh, good afternoon. I call this uh, hearing to order. The, uh, today the committee is going to examine two bills, uh, S-2417, the Tribal Veterans Health Care Enhancement Act, and S-2842, uh, the Johnson O'Malley Supplemental Indian Education Program Modernization Act. These bills address specific concerns regarding health care and education for American Indian and Alaska Native communities. Uh, last December, Senator Thune and Rounds introduced S-2417, the Tribal Veterans Health Care uh, Enhancement Act. This bill amends the Indian Health Care Improvement Act. It allows the Indian Health Service, upon referral, to cover the cost of co-payments for an American Indian or Alaska Native veteran receiving medical care or services from the Department of Veterans Affairs. As many of us know here, American Indians and Alaska Natives have served in the armed forces at a greater number per capita than any other ethnic group. S-2417 requires the Indian Health Service and the Department of Veterans Affairs to, if feasible, enter into a memorandum of understanding to provide clarity for how this payment system will be executed. Unnecessary ag agency red tape and bureaucracy should not stand in the way of helping our veterans. On April 21st, Senator Heidkamp, along with Senator Daines and Langford, introduced S-2842, the Johnson O'Malley Supplemental Indian Education Program Modernization Act. The Johnson O'Malley Act authorized by Johnson O'Malley program to allow for the uh, Bureau of Indian Education to contract for the education of eligible Indian and Alaska Native students enrolled in public schools. More than 90 percent of Indian and Alaska Native students attend public schools. The various programs offered to American Indian and Alaska Native students through the Johnson O'Malley program relate to academics, culture, dropout prevention, and language. Therefore, this bill will amend the Johnson O'Malley Act to direct the Secretary of Interior in coordination with the Bureau of Indian Education to take measures in ensuring full participation of all eligible Indian and Native Alaskan students in the Johnson O'Malley program. This bill would require the Secretary of the Interior to provide a more accurate student count of Indian students utilizing existing data, considering the last official count that was verified by the Bureau of Indian Education occurred more than 20 years ago. That was 1995. Without an accurate student count, it's difficult to determine the need for these Johnson O'Malley programs and the benefit this program provides. Today we have Ms. Carla Mann from my home state of Wyoming to give testimony on S-2842. She is from Fort Washington, <laughs> Wyoming, located on the Wind River Indian Reservation and has testified before this committee on similar issues in the past. Welcome back. Um, I want to thank you, Ms. Mann, for your tireless work on these issues and representing Wyoming proudly. Um, I'd like at this point to uh, to turn to Senator Tester for an opening